According to sources close to the Supercross paddock, German superstar Ken Rotten may be on the verge of signing a groundbreaking contract with Ducati to compete in the AMA Supercross Championship in 2026. This potential move would mark Ducati's highly anticipated entry into the American Supercross scene, a debut that could reshape the landscape of the sport. With Rotten as the face of Ducati's program, the team would gain not only a competitive edge, but also instant popularity due to Rotten's extensive fan base and magnetic presence. Reports hint that Ducati is considering a collaboration with Team TLD, Troy Lee Designs, which had previously been partnered with Gas Gas until the end of this year. Team TLD, however, is not expected to compete in 2025, likely gearing up for a significant relaunch in 2026 in conjunction with Ducati's debut. This hiatus might allow both Ducati and TLD to invest their efforts into building a formidable Supercross program, bringing Ducati's high-performance engineering to American soil in a way that meets the unique demands of Supercross. One potential hurdle in this partnership, however, could be sponsorship conflicts. Ken Roxon has long been associated with Red Bull, a brand that has heavily supported his career and public image. On the other hand, Ducati traditionally maintains a partnership with Monster Energy in its racing ventures, notably in MotoGP. For Raijin to join Ducati without compromising his relationship with Red Bull, some adjustments might be required. Rumors from the paddock suggest that this issue could potentially be sidestepped if Monster Energy decides to end its off-road sponsorship with Ducati, which would open up new sponsorship opportunities for both Rotson and Ducati as they enter the Supercross Arena. Although these developments remain speculative, the mere idea of Ken Rotson racing a Ducati in 2026 has already sparked enthusiasm and speculation among fans and insiders. Rotson's blend of experience, charisma, and skill could make him the perfect ambassador for Ducati as they make their first strides in American Supercross. Meanwhile, anticipation is also building for the Paris Supercross, which will take place on November 16th and 17th. One of the biggest names expected to appear is Jeff. Lawrence, whose recent stats in motocross and supercross have set new standards in the sport. After a stellar 2023 season in which he dominated the 450 outdoor series with a perfect record, winning 22 out of 22 motos, Lawrence has shown no signs of slowing down. His entry into the 450 supercross class in 2024 was met with equally impressive results. Despite facing challenging, muddy conditions in some rounds, Lawrence clinched the championship with eight wins, twice as many as his close closest rival, Cooper Webb, who has also confirmed his participation in the Paris event. Lawrence's rise has been meteoric, drawing comparisons to the sport's legends. Only icons like Jeremy McGrath and Ryan Dungey had managed to capture the 450 Supercross title as rookies, a feat that speaks volumes about Lawrence's exceptional skill and mental toughness. Remarkably, Jet is already leading in the ratio of wins per Supercross race entered, a metric that suggests he may be on track to challenge some of McGrath's seemingly untouchable records. If anyone is positioned to rewrite the history books, it's Lawrence. His relentless drive and remarkable adaptability across both motocross and supercross are setting him up as a future legend of the sport. As fans and analysts alike look forward to the Paris Supercross, the question on everyone's mind is, will Jet Lawrence continue his winning streak and move even closer to securing his place among the all-time greats? With stars like Roxon and Lawrence lighting up the supercross scene, the future of the sport looks brighter and more competitive than ever.